Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Can you remember the last time you upgraded your computer? Uh, if it's a, a desktop machine, uh, it's relatively easy to upgrade. You know, you swap out one card for another so long as it fits that particular slot inside the machine on your motherboard. But maybe a little trickier when it comes to a laptop. And this was a question that was submitted by video just a few minutes ago, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to try playing her full screen. I have a, a Toshiba laptop. It's, it's an old one. And um, I've already upgraded the DVD uh, from a DVD player to a DVD burner. But I was wondering if I could up either upgrade the sound card or the video card, especially the video card. Um, I've already taken this laptop apart a couple of times, so I know kind of what I'm doing with it, <laughs> but I can't seem to find any any information on um, upgrading the video card or the sound card for it, and I would really be interested, and I'm hoping you can help me. Okay? Thank you. First of all, it's no problem. I'm, I'm happy to help. I don't know the answer to every question on the planet, but uh, I like to try, and even if I miss sometimes, people in comments leave wonderful follow-up remarks. Uh, and then, of course, the chat room, I'm sure, has already been offering suggestions. Uh, when it comes to laptops, it's, sometimes it's a little trickier to upgrade the components. Laptops typically get sold in one single configuration, uh, sometimes the media bay, uh, you can swap out different components as apparently this uh, person, uh, and I'm sorry she didn't leave her name, uh, random woman community member uh, has already swapped out her DVD drive for a DVD burner uh, because it fit the same uh, area inside her laptop. Um, and, and sometimes manufacturers make it so you can even put an extra battery in that bay rather than a DVD drive or even a floppy drive. Uh, when it comes to upgrading sound and video, uh, wow. There are certain laptops where it is easier to upgrade those uh, particular components, but those laptops tend to get sold to gamers at a premium. Uh, but I don't know how much of a gamer she is, and she says it's a Toshiba, so my guess is, is it's more of a workstation slash workhorse. Jane Doe. Okay, user, I'll, I think we've... I'm sorry, uh, random community female member, you, you are now Jane Doe. Uh, so to help Jane, uh, I'm going to recommend for the sound card... Uh, getting a PCMCIA card. Um, they sell sound cards in that particular form factor. And if it's a Toshiba, my guess is it's still got a PCMCIA slot. Uh, and you could pick up a card, you know, either your local geek store, or you can order one online and use that for your primary sound or alternative sound. You may be able to turn off your onboard sound in your BIOS or your system setup screen before Windows boots. That's the screen that you'll likely see. You can turn your onboard sound off, and then as long as you've got a PCM CIA card plugged into the port, you can use that as your sound card. And that's, I've seen that used very practically uh, for situations when uh, Jake Ludington and I would record audio on the road. He had a laptop, but the sound really sucked, so he went out and he bought one that had different jacks in it uh, that would work the way we needed it to work and had all the software and support that we needed or demanded from a sound card. That's going to be far easier for you to do uh, than it is going to be for you to uh, upgrade the video card. In cases where I've seen video cards upgraded it's it's typically not been an upgrade uh, it's been more of a, a side grade or it's the same video card because if the old one was faulty they replace it with the same one there may be a way that you could replace a video memory that's a possibility um, but even that is is, a, is very remote in terms of a possibility but as I said you know look around for either uh, a PCMCIA uh, sound card solution or even a USB solution I guess a PCMCIA would make the laptop infinitely more portable because it's inside the laptop and has only a little bit sticking out versus a USB something uh, where you got to carry it around separately. Um, but I don't think you can do that uh, with just regular old video card uh, stuff. Um, yeah, if, if Toshiba hasn't documented it on the site, uh, maybe time to either push the envelope just a little bit more or just buy a, a new laptop altogether. So there's some, uh, there's some suggestions for you, Jane if that is your real name. And I happen to know that there are the people in here, these are their real names. That is, his name is really MVP Dude. He gets beat up uh, every day because of that. And Zedlos, uh, that it's just a horrible, 
uh, name. I, you know, what a what kind of parents would name their. And then what about Master Taco? I mean, you want to talk about a bad name to have? Dang. See, oh my God, I can't. I can only imagine. You can't even. You can't even go anywhere with that. So anyway, whatever your name is, uh, I hope I helped. And if I didn't, please. Let me know, uh, you know, if you have any other questions, or if anybody else out there has any other suggestions or recommendations on upgrading hardware components inside the laptop. I'm always willing to learn something new. Swing by. We're always live here at live.perillo.com. Me, and if I'm not there, well, the chat room certainly is. <laughs>